welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to do intarsia cables in the round. In a previous video I demonstrated how to work intarsia cables flat. This is a sample of that. So the, in, the legs of the cables are worked in a second color. And it's a similar to an intarsia in that you link the uh, color changes with each other so that you don't develop holes along the color changes. The gray is worked back and forth. The cable is worked in the intarsia technique. And so it gives you this result that looks like this. It's very beautiful. It's very three-dimensional. Just lovely. So this one's in the worked in the flat technique, which I'll have a video. I'll link it up here in the corner. And this video is about working it in the round, which is slightly different. So we're ready to do a right side row. So this is just like in Tarja in that you want to take the color you're just using and put it over the top of the color that you're going to be using. So we can see that the red yarn is coming from here. So we're going to take the white over the top, pick up the red, and we're going to work these two stitches with the red yarn. Then we're going to take the white over the top of the red and work the next four stitches with the white yarn. So this is a right side row. Of course all these rows are right side, but for the cable it's a right side row. So we're going to pick up the red yarn that's associated with this stitch and I always double check. It's easy to get them mixed up, but I pull on it to make sure that it's that yarn. Then I take the white over the red. The white has to come over the red so it's trapping the red below the white so that when we come back and do the next row the red will be trapped and that's what keeps holes from appearing makes the fabric intact across the row okay I'm going to work across the row I'll come back and we're going to do the next right side row in the white but it'll be a wrong side row for the cake okay. we're coming up on this row now so it's still right side for the white. All the rows are right side for the white. And I'll show you what I mean about doing the wrong side row for the cable. So here we are at the color change. Let's turn the work over. We can see that our last red stitch for this leg is attached to this yarn and it's the second stitch. It's not the first stitch. So we're going to need to work this in this direction from here to here. And we can see that the red yarn is trapped there by the white yarn going across it. Same here. This yarn is attached to this stitch so it needs to be worked in this direction on, as a wrong side and it's trapped by the white. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is we're just going to slip those two red stitches to the right needle. Now you can either knit back backwards at this time or turn your work and I'm not creating a video here on knitting back backwards so I'm going to show you how to turn your work and now we have the red yarn that is attached to this stitch right here and you can see it's trapped by the white yarn below so we're going to purl these two stitches and turn the work now the white needs to come over the red the typical exchange we're going to slip the two red over here. They've already been worked. This seems fiddly, but when you get going, it's very quick. We're going to work the next four white stitches. Slip the two reds. Turn the work. Work the two red stitches. Here's the yarn attached to it. I always check. You'll see on the next few rows where it can get confusing about the red yarn. Turn back to the right side. The white needs to come over the top of the red. Work the 
white over the red, slip the two red stitches and continue to the end of the round. And I'll join you back here in a second to begin the next red section. Here we are. Now I look at these stitches. The yarn is now coming for the red yarn is now coming from the first stitch in the sequence, so we know that this is going to be a right side row. I just snugged it up a little bit. This one also is coming from the first stitch in the sequence, so we know those are going to be right side rows on the cable. I look at that every time because boy is it easy to get off on a cable in the round. Even when you're just working with one color, it's really easy to get off. You have to keep a notation of where you are. Okay, now this is a row where we're going to be moving stitches. So I use the cable without a, a cable needle method. I'm just moving the two red stitches over two. Then I work the two white. Then I look to the back. My red yarn is now down here because I crossed the white stitches over the red stitches. And again, the, red's, the white's going to go over the red. The red's going to come up. And that's what we're going to use next for knitting. So here we've got our red yarn. And I'm testing it. It's connected to this stitch. Now we're going to move these two red stitches over. And I'll need to find the yarn that's associated with those two red stitches. It's not this one, that's the one we just used. So we're moving it out of the way. Right here is the red associated. Now we want to cross the two red yarns because this is the one we just finished using, correct? It has to come over the top. The new one comes up from underneath as in all intarsia crossings. So let's look at it from this side. So we have our just used red yarn. It's going to go over the top of the new red yarn. The new red yarn comes up here and this is what we're going to knit with. If we do not cross the two red yarns, we would end up with a hole right here, and that we don't want a hole. You need to maintain the yarn with the leg that it's going with, and we'll see that in the next cable crossing, which is the round two rounds after this. So now we bring the white over the top of the red, and it's going to be going over the cross tops of both red yarns. See here it is over here. It's coming over both red yarns. And again, we're going to work to the end of the round, and we'll do this again. Okay, we're coming up on the color change. We're going to continue working over to it with the white. So this time, we're going to move all four stitches, because they're right next to each other. We're going to work them as a group. We're going to turn our work. Now, let's see. This one is connected here, so we know that's not the one we want to work with we want to work with this one. Now let's say we accidentally did work with the one that's connected to this stitch that we didn't pay attention. Watch what happens when I go to make this stitch. There's no tension on it. Do you see that? It got real big. There's no tension because I'm not holding that yarn in this hand. I'm holding the yarn that goes to this stitch over here. When I hold the correct yarn in my hand and I go to make this stitch, I, can, I have total control over the tension. It's not going to get big. So I make those two stitches, and then we have to cross the yarns. Take the new yarn over the top of the old yarn, work the next two stitches. This is just like intarsia on the wrong side, the exact same thing. You can look at the other video if you want a refresher on that. It'll be linked and we're back to our white yarn. And we've already worked the red stitches so we can just slip them all over to this needle and continue in the round with the red yarn. 
We're going to do one more right side row in the red and then we'll have a little discussion about this. Okay, so we're going to show the um, last right side row. In this case, it's a cable crossing, so I am going to move these two stitches in front of the first two. into this position. So we crossed our cables. So we need to check and see which yarn is connected to which stitch. That's connected to the third stitch, so it's not the yarn we want. We want the other one. Let's pull on this one. Yes, that's our stitch. So there is the red stitch that we want to be working with. We need to cross the white yarn over it pick up the red and we're going to work those two stitches. Now we're going to cross that red over the top of the other red, the second red, and pull it up. Make sure it's the correct yarn, it is, and knit those two stitches. Then we're going to bring the white yarn over both and work to the end of the row. And then let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. This video is in conjunction with a tutorial that I'm doing on Ravelry. It's called It Takes a Guild. And this is in association with a sleeve for those working an intarsia cable on their sleeve because it'll have to be worked in the round. Again, this is the intarsia cable worked flat, and if we turn it over, we see the places where the orange stitches have been taken in front of the gray. So then we get this strand that goes across here. So that correlates with a place where the cable has moved. Whenever the cable moves, you're going to get these strands across the back, and it makes this interesting and very symmetrical design. On our swatch in the round, we're going to get the same thing. You can see, and there are no holes. See how it's all connected? There are no holes. Everything is secure. And this is the design that you'll see on the back. Now you can do any cable pattern this way. I just chose this particular one um, as a demonstration. So you can do any cable in the round with the two colors like this. If you like my videos, videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share my videos with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos, and come back and watch some more. Take care and happy knitting.